Now in this last section on classes and instances of classes in PARS, we're going to talk about relationships. And there's two types of relationships you can create between different rows or instances of classes in PARS. One of them is just a what's called a one-to-one -one relationship, which is as, as it sounds really. So you can connect one instance, one row, with one other row. Now to do that we need to create another class that we can use. Now what class kind of is connected to the concept of, of a post or a blog post? Well that would be a, a comment on a blog post. So let's create a comment class type. So var comment the parse object extend comment there. Well I'm going to call it lowercase comment is equal to new comment. Let's scroll up the page a little bit. Let's set some data on our comment instance. I'm going to say message. This is an awesome post. Okay, you can ignore those messages on the right hand side. They're just warnings. I think my, my internet disconnected briefly. But also what I can do is I can then connect this comment to the post that we created above. Okay, so I could then do comment.set, perhaps parent, and I'll just call it a post. Okay, but in fact, the best place to set this isn't outside of there, it's the best place to set this is once we know the post object has actually been created. So let me just cut that. Let's go back up onto the success handler here. And then let me just paste our data there. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to comment out the destroy because I don't want to destroy our post object. So now once our post is initially saved, and then I'm then going to create an instance of a comment, I'm going to associate it with the post. And I'm then going to save the comment. And just as before, we can have some callback handler so I'm just gonna leave it there I'm not gonna bother with an with an error handler right now just to save some time so now let's refresh the page to make sure and now if I clear and hit run okay so there we go so we saved the post I then saved a comment which I've associated with this post. So now if we go into the parse dashboard, let's refresh the page to make sure. There we go, there, there is our comment. And now you can see actually there's a column called parent and that parent is, the data type is a pointer to a post. Okay, so we linked our comment to a parent, to a post object, so this is a pointer to that post object and they see three three w this this code here is the same as the parent object post code there and in fact if in in the dashboard if you clicked it it would actually literally take you to that post object and filtered on the right one so you could see it so you could see it directly there so this is how you create a one to one relationship. So we've done that. We've created a one to one from a common instance to a post instance to a post record. The other way of creating relationships in PARS is a one to many or a many to many relationship. A comment might only belong to one post, but a post might have many comments. So let's do the relationship that way around. So to add relationships, you need to define what the class, the instance that the relationship is going to be from. When we say one to many, what is the one? Well, the one in this case is the post. So on the success handler for the comment, because we, we only want to do this once we know the comment has been saved. So I'm going to do post, sorry, I'm going to do var comment is equal to post dot relation comments. So this is saying create a relation on the post instance called comments. And then on the relation I'm going to add 
the comment that we just created, this one here. And then to save this, we just do post.save. Again, we can add callback handlers, but I'm not gonna add it right now because I just wanna show you in the dashboard. Now, theoretically here, we've only got one comment, but you could add multiple comments. If we had comment one, comment two, comment three, comment four, comment five, you could say that this post, this one, is related to five comments, the many, a one-to-many relationship. We don't have five comments. I'm not gonna create five comments. I'm just gonna create one to show you. So now let's refresh the page. Now let's clear and run. So now if I go to this post, if I go to the dashboard, click on post. So the, the top one is the one we just created. If I click view relation, it now shows me the comments that are related to this post. We've only got one. If I go back, oh, back to post. And we check previous post that we had created where we didn't set any relations. I click it, there should be no comments related to this post because I've only just added that comment to this post via the relations property. So those are the two ways in which you can add relations or relate, or you can add links between instances of objects in PARS to other instances. So the first one is a is a one-to-one -one relationship, just by using the set function, just as you would do normally. You just set the instance, the other thing that you want to connect to the comment, you just set it and save it. And that will create a one-to-one -one relationship. If, however, you want to do a one-to-many relationship, you then have to create a relation which just creates a column with that name, then you add to that relationship the objects that you want to add. You can add as many as you want, and that's why it's one to many. And then you just save the object to persist that to the database. So that's our section on PARS classes. We've covered how to define a class, how to create an instance of a class and save it to the PARS database how to know when the save is fully completed via the use of callbacks, how to retrieve an instance via the get function, how to then edit an instance, how to delete an instance, how to add one-to-one -one relationships and also one-to-many relationships via the uh, relation function.